So the idea is that she's now comfortable enough to do it herself. Could put more affection, more love, more touchy touchy feelings going on and you're trying to speed up the process, you're not gonna get head from her. You guys are having Netflix and chill vibe without her feeling no pressure whatsoever. Hello everyone, so welcome to my dating podcast. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 99% of women give you head when you go ahead and do this. And I got three things for y'all today, so make sure you watch until the end to get all the steps that y'all gotta be following to go ahead and get head from her. So make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into the first thing on my list. And this is kind of when you're ready to go ahead and show her that that piece of yours that is down there is actually really, really working because she is around. So this is going ahead and giving a head start and this is getting hard and not forcing nothing. So she doesn't think that you're trying to get head. So her thinking that your intentions are trying to get head and let's say trying to only get head is a bad idea because she's not gonna wanna just do that for you guys and she's not gonna want you to think that she's the type of girl to do that. Most times when a girl is serious about you and she knows you're serious about her, those are the next steps that she's gonna be willing to take let's say you guys just started talking she's also not gonna rush herself to give you some top and if she does maybe it's because she's really really feeling you but in other words you guys shouldn't expect it to be happening right away so let's just say back to you fellas if you're coming on too strong and you're trying to speed up the process you're not gonna get head from her in other words let's say you're talking to a girl and she comes over y'all know you guys gotta have a nice environment y'all gotta have the room already set up this is just something i'm throwing in there if y'all don't know try to make that environment feel like it's cozy and comfortable if she's not in your bed yet when you are talking to her let's say she's on the couch or something you are supposed to initiate a lot of the stuff you don't initiate actually getting head you only initiate her getting closer you only initiate her putting herself on you so you have a chest right fellas you guys have a shoulder go ahead and take advantage instead of trying to take advantage of her mouth or let's say trying to get her to go down there and try to speed up the process you guys are having netflix and chill vibe without her feeling no pressure whatsoever a lot of times what could happen is a girl is feeling like you're the type of guy that expects it to happen and if you're gonna have that type of attitude she's gonna make you wait just be yourself when you're around her and use what you can to make her feel good about herself you are giving her a lot of chances to go ahead and give you more when you go ahead and get ready go ahead and get hard go ahead and get turned on and that's gonna let a lot of females see the option of giving you head and the number two thing is gonna actually allow you to get it even faster and this is talking to her and getting to know her so right back to you're not forcing nothing with number two you are not rushing one bit so after she comes over and everything is set up and now she's on you she is all comfortable and the talking is going on y'all know females are gonna get yes turned on by y'all too so don't think if she's not saying anything don't think if she's not rubbing on you she doesn't want anything a lot of times it happens where she's gonna wait on you to go ahead and give her more initiation and for her to now feel like you know what it's been some time and i made him wait it shouldn't be a problem to want to talk to her when you guys are talking and getting to know each other and her head is on you do not have no greasy skin do not have no pimples or anything that she looks up at and she says whoa let me back up from and that means you have to have a skincare routine part of you being ready to have this girl on you and getting head and of course you got to have the best skincare routine out there that's why i'm excited to have t chanley as a sponsor of today's video you've heard me talk about them before and you're gonna keep hearing me talk about them because i know the positive impact their products will have on your life seriously i still don't think some of you guys believe me when i tell you implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in every aspect of your life. T. Chanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing you don't. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. And to make it super easy, they provide this instruction card that comes in every single box that tells you when to use each product, how much you use, 
and in what order definitely comes in clutch. But you don't just have to take my word for it because they have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. This isn't something that you want to put off because prevention is key. Get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self will thank you. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause and cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description. You'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. So now that everything is put into place, you've been taking care of your skin. You now have her all over you. She's feeling up on you. You should now have her feeling like there is no obligation. Nothing is forced for her to go ahead and go down there. And she is feeling you. You could take the next step of going ahead and kissing on her. So this is part of number two where you could put more affection, more love, more touchy touchy feelings going on. You're going to get eventually that top afterward. So the idea is that she's now comfortable enough to do it herself. Sometimes you might be lucky or let's say you'll have a girl be like, you know, do you want it? Hey, you know, I'm ready. Maybe down the line when you've been with her. But because let's say you're trying to play it safe or you want to really, really make sure that you get it. You want to let her force it on you when she hasn't been feeling no need to. Now she's now ready to give you some mouth action. So the last thing I'll say about number two, you're never going to be the type of guy that is rushing to get to know her. And of course, feeling like you now earned it. So take your time to get to know her. Fellas, there's no need to rush. When you do actually get to know her and see what she's actually like, you're going to enjoy the experience way more. It's going to be way more genuine. And so let's get into the last thing on my list. But first, if you still have not given this video a big thumbs up, make sure you go ahead and do so right now and so the last thing on my list is making sure that it's clean down there and it's as simple as it sounds if you're not washing your piece if you're not washing yes your balls fellas what are you doing get in the shower before she comes she doesn't want no stinky balls and she does not want you to be having anything that's dirty for her to put her mouth on so if you do have yourself smelling good that's already gonna help you guys put your cologne on but of course if your stuff is washed down there of course taking a shower right before she comes to your house is gonna be a great idea or before you go see her and you're gonna be hanging out with her for like three hours you know you have to do a long drive let's just say you came from somewhere where you had to sweat a little bit before make sure you go ahead and prep it to be clean before so make sure you wash up so she is ready to go ahead and go down there and of course stay down there because imagine if she goes down and she comes right back up because you did not wash because it stinks or say it like this because it's salty yes with the sweat it could taste salty fellas so make sure you are washing now the last thing you do want to keep in mind is of course if you have the cologne like i said if you smell good it's gonna help your chances of actually getting head because she's gonna feel more likely to want to go ahead and do it due to the fact that you do smell good and why not when you do smell so good so that is it for this video i hope it was helpful if y'all want more videos like this let me know by commenting down below and y'all will see me in my next video Bye, y'all.